So today we have something very serious. We have something very serious in the studio today and it, it's exciting. Um, not only exciting, it, it's something, it's very special. This is a special piece. And I say that it's not just a knife because anybody buying this is not buying it just for a cutting tool. You know, they're buying it for collector reasons, uh, to be like an art piece, uh, maybe even something, you know, to, not for bragging, but you know, it, it's something that could be like the pinnacle of your knife collection. Something that if you're gonna show off your knife collection to other knife collectors, this is something all knife collectors, any knife collector, can appreciate. Even if it's out of their price range, even if it's not something they would buy, they can still look at it and say, damn, that is a gem. And today, that knife that we are checking out is the Herman Knives Micro Sting Full Dress. This knife is so special that it comes in a beautifully well done wooden box where the shape of the knife is carved out of the inside where the knife perfectly fits. That also has a place for the tool to disassemble it in the box. On this particular full dress micro sting, because they do come in so many different versions and options, and we'll compare them to a couple other options here in a minute, but this one comes with Damax Damascus steel. Now I've personally never tested this steel before, but it's supposed to be a really, really well-known and renowned stainless steel, or sorry, uh, Damascus steel. Um, and it is a stainless Damascus. Now it's made with 7C27MO2 and a Lima 19C27. It's supposed to have very high hardness and good corrosion resistance. So it, it looks gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the layers. You know, it almost looks like it's like CNC cut out, but that's the Damascus layers and you can feel them. You know, it, it feels like stair steps, like micro stair steps. It feels really, really cool. And it just, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Then we have a black Timascus handle. So it's basically a Damascus made out of titanium and then anodized. Oh my goodness, is that gorgeous. It has the same black Timascus clip and backspacer, and one of my favorite parts about this knife is actually looking at the spine and the belly. You can see the layers of the black Timascus flowing up the spine and you know over the backspacer and the belly of the knife, and it just it looks almost like like hair or something. And I don't, I, I love that. For some reason, it always catches my eye. It's so eye appealing to me. It's so drawing to me. Um, I'm the same way with, uh, with side cut carbon fiber, you know, where you can see the layers of it. So I think that is just absolutely gorgeous. And you know, with Herman knives, everything is pretty much touched and thought through. Um, I, you know, with this knife, you know, it is a compact knife. It is a smaller knife. And you know, I'm usually more into bigger knives, but you know, that doesn't mean I don't appreciate, uh, you know, a, a, something like this. This is just, it's a masterpiece. Now, when we look at it, you can see the hardware is very minimal, right? It's very minimal. And personally, I love the captured pivot. I think it just looks so cool. But the screws for the clip are the screws that also are the body screws. And you can see they come through on the other side and they're polished. So they're little polished heads. That looks so sweet. It keeps this side nice and clean. And, you know, especially when you mix it with, you know, the, the micro milling of the Herman knives. Now, they, they all have different finishes, so depending on which one you have. But this one has this these, these micro milling striations going up and down the entire knife, which adds to some, some you know, some, te some texture. Now, the action, like all Herman knives, it sings.
And you can see when I release it, which the lock bar access on Herman's are really good. I love this type of access. And then you can see the little bit of texturing on the titanium liner, which is screwed into the Timascus. So it's like a sub liner lock. Now, perfect access. And when you release the lock bar, it is very, very smooth. Riding on multi-row ceramic bearings that are caged in a brass cage. Now, what's sweet about that is the flow of this knife, because you gotta think, this blade is so light. This is such a light blade. It's hard to appreciate it through the camera, but it is such a light blade. And you can just see it, just the glassy smoothness just riding down. Now, with any knife, you know, even with a Herman, when you open it up, you know, you want to open it up, you know, 25, 30 times, you know, so that it starts breaking in because right at first, you know, the detent, because through shipping and things like that, the detent ball might get a little dry, you know, something like that. So you want to open it up a few times, let the detent ball, you know, find its path, you know, and, and things like that. But then once you do, Man, oh man, it's like every time you open it after that, it just gets smoother and smoother and smoother and snappier. And, and my goodness, <laughs> um, it has a really good action. These knives, you know, they're, they're kind of known for, for some of their action, you know. And, you know, this one has not disappointed at all. Now, you will find this in some Hermans, like the detent strength might be a little bit less or a little bit stronger, just depending on which one you get and how it's tuned. Um, I did hear, and I can't, I can't, I should just reach out to Herman and find out, but I heard that if you ever have an issue with the detent strength, like if you're like, I like, it's too strong or it's too light or something like that, he will tune it. Supposedly, this is just what I heard. I heard he will tune it to your liking, which is, Something I've never heard of from any other company. So if that's true, that is absolutely amazing. Uh, but man, looking at these layers, you know, you can see pink and purple, the blues, the you know, obviously the blacks. But, you know, just the way it changes, it's almost um, iridescent. And on the inside, it does have milling on the inside. You can see the proudly made in Poland because these are made in Poland. Shout out to Polish Custom Knives. Definitely check out their site. So for a micro compact knife, I actually can get a full four finger grip. Yeah, my pinky's kind of hanging on there, but I can get a full four finger grip. The blade is 2.8 inches, just under three inches. It feels like a three inch blade, especially since I can get a full grip, but it's 2.8 inches. The overall is 6.6 .6 inches. So a little under seven inches. And, you know, with a knife like this, you know, because these are hand done by, you know, Herman, Herman knives, um, this is a knife that if you do it with any of the Hermans, you know, you can easily reach out to Herman, you know, with any, I'm not saying that you'll have an issue, but I'm just saying like for any questions, any issues, anything, you can reach out to him because you have one guy doing it and the guy, I don't know if he has a team or not, but I'm just saying he's somebody that would probably be very easy to contact and communicate with for any reason, which is something, you know, that you're buying when you deal with, a, when you're getting into customs, because with custom knives, you're not dealing with, you know, an international company, you know, that, that has a thousand workers and, you know, all these other things and they're in, you know, every store and think it's not that, you know, you're getting, you're buying the work from the guy. And in many cases, a lot of uh, buyers that buy knives like these, that's what they're doing. They're buying the maker, you know, they're paying for the maker. You know, it's kind of like, you know, even when you think about, you know, like Gucci and Louis Vuitton and all those things, a lot of those people that buy that stuff, they're buying it for the brand name. But this, you're buying it for the guy, the guy who has the attention to detail, the guy who goes through this thing with a fine tooth comb, the guy that's going to be easy to contact, the guy that, 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 you know, takes, you know, and puts his blood, sweat, and tears into this, you know, and, and you know that he did, and it wasn't, you know, um, a bunch of other people that, you know, or random people that nobody will ever know who did it. You know, you'll never know who touched most of your knives. You'll never know who made it or what machine or anything like that. But with something like this, you know, you get to know that. And that, that's a good feeling. 
Before we get you guys out of here, let's compare this to, <laughs> let's do that again. The full size sting, damn that action. And we'll also compare it to the, the Ishtar. Oh, this thing, every time I open it, this thing just puts a smile on my face. My goodness, is that such a beautiful feeling. So you can see we have the large, you know, the large, the full size, and then the micro. The Ishtar, the Sting, and the Micro Sting. Now, I will pin a little card up in the corner. If you want to check out the video to this one, I highly recommend it. My goodness, is this a gorgeous piece. Um, same thing with the Sting. I will pin a little card up here in the corner if you want to check that one out as well. Um, this one, since I've had it, you know, man, it's just, it's, like with a lot of knives, you know, it just gets better and better and better and better. Um, and then obviously we have the micro sting here. So this knife did come from Polish Custom Knives, which I will link down in the description for you guys. You guys uh, should check them out. They have tons and tons of awesome, amazing knives, and they always are dropping more knives. So they constantly have new stuff showing up on their site and also going out, you know, because people are paying attention. So people see certain things that come in and they hurry up and buy them. So if you want to keep up to date or if you're looking for something specific, make sure you're paying attention to their site. Um, you can also follow them on Instagram where they do kind of keep you up to date with things that are going on on their site, but definitely check their site out down in the description, Polish Custom Knives. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.